Russia's uh, war in Ukraine has impacted greatly on uh, European security to start with. Um, there has been uh, an epochal changes uh, in uh, Germany's uh, attitude towards defense, but also really uh, the European Union's unanimous support uh, of the strategic compass uh, and the NATO strategic compass reflecting uh, those kind of uh, uh, security assessments and threats in the neighborhood. What has been, uh, what has been uh, the immediate uh, impact uh, uh, with regard to Europe's engagement in the Indo-Pacific, which is uh, what I have been looking at also through uh, an authored uh, article, uh, has actually been a uh, continued uh, uh, development of capacity building and transfer of soft skills uh, to uh, East Asian players, uh, starting with uh, uh, Southeast Asia, uh, to India, but also uh, potentially in coordination with uh, South Korea and, and, and Japan. And this is uh, part and parcel of uh, the Euro European Union's uh, strategy for cooperation in the Indo-Pacific. Uh, it goes through uh, support and uh, uh, engagement from member states countries, but it has a European Union dimension and it involves maritime presence operations, uh, uh, capacity building and defense of international law. The impact of the war uh, of Ukraine, Ukraine, uh, Russia's war in Ukraine, um, it's too early to tell the mid to long term impact, but uh, it's going to be more costly to uh, send uh, uh, assets uh, all the way to the Indo-Pacific, especially the Western Pacific and Southeast Asia. And it will also, uh, however, uh, test the political capacity and willingness uh, to be uh, engaged for the long term. Uh, with that in mind, uh, uh, let's keep, uh, however, an eye uh, on the broad picture, that is that uh, the European Union is interested in fighting back uh, in defense of Ukraine because <clears throat> there needs to be a defense, a strong defense of international rules. And the same applies, of course, uh, to East Asia. Precisely because the European Union is made up of small and medium powers, uh, these have active stakes in making sure that the world uh, doesn't get defined by uh, the rules of the stronger, might making right, but by a broad encompassing uh, uh, set of international uh, norms and principles that need to be respected. First and foremost, of course, uh, um, the illegality of the use of coercive means uh, for diplomatic purposes or uh, for securing territorial and maritime uh, claims.